Hello everybody and this is the second video uh, for the work we did and the second part of the class today. So this simply is the uh, Excel formula uh, exercise. So we're going to use add, subtract, multiply and divide. I already sent you in the worksheet um, the different uh, operators that we use when, uh, for, when forming a formula in Excel. So the first one is the same as normal, it's the add sign we use in this. And simply to add the two numbers in A4 and B4, we click into the cell where we want the result to go. So in this case it's C4. And the first thing you must always put in in any Excel formula is equals. Okay. And then we just simply put in the cell references, which in this case is A4. You put in the operator, which in this case is the plus, and B4. And then you simply click or just click on your return or enter key. And then to copy that formula as before, place the mouse over on the corner of that cell, and you get the black cross, drag it all the way down to the bottom, and release it, and hit presto, it works. The next one then is the subtract, and again, we click into where we want the result to go. You put in equals, and you put in your cell reference, which again is A4, your minus sign, and then you put in your second cell reference, which is B4, and simply press enter. And again, we're going to copy that as before, all the way down. And then the next one is the multiply. And then you know in the case of the multiply, you don't use the X as we would in normal maths. We use uh, the star sign, okay. And, um, or the star, sorry, not the star sign. So again, putting, clicking in you where you want the result to go, you, you put in equals. Your reference is A4. This time your operator is, it's an uppercase 8. And then you put in B4, and you press enter as normal. And again, you just copy that all the way down. Okay, the last one then is to divide, and you know in this case it's the forward slash rather than the symbol we use in maths. Okay, so again, equals again, and we put in our cell reference, which is A. Oh, sorry, I'm going to actually do this one slightly differently than I did the rest of them. It just is just a different way of putting in the cell references that you're using in your formula. Um, and sometimes it might be a bit easier, particularly if you have a lot of different cells to take into account in your formula. In this case, we only have two, but it's quite simple. So uh, I'll just show you how to do it. So you put in your equal sign as first as, as usual, first as usual. And then you click in the first cell that you want to put into your formula, which is A4. You click on it, and there you see it going in. You must manually type in your operator, which in this case is the forward slash. And then you must click on the next cell reference, which is A or B4. And you see it going in there. It makes it probably more certain that you're getting the proper cell reference into your formula. And then you just press your enter as normal. Ah, now you see this. This is actually um, something we haven't experienced in class so far. When you see all these hashtags together, it means that there isn't enough room in your cell for all the data. In other words, like this, this has probably gone to several places of decimal. Don't panic. You just need to go back to widen the cell a little bit more. So you place the mouse up here. On the faint line between f and g in this case and you drag it slightly over to the right and you release it and here you see your answer appears and again same procedure you copy that formula all the way down for the rest okay and now you have uh, your exercise in the formula and completed and then i did some some formatting so we took this uh, section here uh, we selected it and we want to change it to two decimal places only so you right click in on the selected area, you left click on format cells down at the bottom here, and then you click on number, in this case it's, it's gone, it's, it went to it automatically, and we're going to reduce that 9 down to 2, and you click OK, and it automatically does it for you. I think the next thing I asked you to do was to add all the numbers in the different cells. So again, we use the auto sum in this case, so you left click on the first one, you select all the cells all the way down and then you click over here on the funny little symbol and then to just do the rest and well same exercise as before with the columns you do the same in the rows you place the mouse down here on the bottom right hand corner you get the black arrow you simply drag it all the way across and release and it uh, adds up all of the uh, different cells now you'll notice in the bottom one down here it didn't actually move that to two decimal places. The reason for that is that I didn't select that cell actually to format the two decimal places, but you can simply just click into it 
uh, we can click on format cells we go into number and then it defaults to two in this case and you just click OK and then it puts it to that okay so that I think finishes the formula exercise uh, so I hope you uh, use it if you're not con if you're a bit confused about what we did in class because things didn't go really well for us today um, but I really thank you very much for your patience and again if you have any problems you can give me a call anytime okay thank you very much